As oil changes the way of life along the Gulf Coast, a UNO professor is taking charge when it comes to the air we breathe. With more than a decade of experience in air quality testing and help from some of his graduate students, he's using some high-tech equipment to make sure that oil isn't releasing any harmful gases. Evan Anderson has more from Port Sulphur. Uh, yeah, I think in the, in the van we got some stuff. Environmental engineering students from UNO and Arizona State University load up a local fisherman's boat for their first trip out to the marshes in Plaquemines Parish. For the last 15 years, UNO professor Dr. Basker Kura has been researching sea pollution, focusing on the many effects of various pollutants that come from ships and oil drilling. Now Dr. Kura is taking on a new challenge, testing the air and water quality in areas saturated with oil. Once we understand the concentration of various pollutants, we'll be able to predict uh, health impacts. On board, top of the line air quality monitoring equipment funded by the Navy. And so these are our devices and they hook up to just regular cell phones. These grad students get the equipment ready as they prepare to take some critical tests, testing for various pollutants that could be dangerous to long-term health. What basically happens is when oil is on the surface, uh, due to the sun rays, it breaks down. And when it breaks down, it releases some sort of a gases. Amit Sengupta is working on his Ph.D. on environmental engineering and says effects on a person's health from airborne oil pollutants could last up to 15 years. So it's particularly important for the people who are going out into the sea trying to mop up and trying to clean up. The ultimate goal here is to understand, model, and develop solutions when it comes to possible health impacts from oil pollution. Dr. Kerr and his team of graduates are using a combination of wind direction and results from their equipment to find those hot spots of oil pollutants. So wind and water current are two critical, critical factors. Of course, if you have rainfall in between, you get lucky, the pollutants settle down into, on the surface. It's just day one of what Dr. Kura says could be months of testing for the possibility of some serious health conditions because of millions of gallons of oil that continue to creep onto the state's coastlines and fragile marshes. In Port Sulphur, Evan Anderson, Fox 8 News. Today's test results won't be ready for another couple of weeks. The plan, though, is to compare and add their findings with standard EPA results. The federal agency is also testing air and water quality.